Hi, girls and boys. I want to introduce you to a good friend of mine. This is George. George, say hi, George. George is a good little monkey and always very curious, but sometimes George runs into a little trouble. He always tries to be good, but sometimes he just forgets. Today, we're going to read about one of George's adventures, and it's called Curious George Goes to the Chocolate Factory, and it's by Margaret and H.A. Rays. Curious George goes to the chocolate factory. Uh-oh, that looks like he's in trouble. Let's start at the beginning. This is George. George is a good little monkey and always very curious. One day, George went for a drive with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. Look, George, the man said. There's a store in that chocolate factory up ahead. Let's stop for a treat. George loved chocolates. Inside the store, boxes of chocolates were packed, stacked everywhere. But the man with the yellow hat found his favorites right away. Georgie said, wait here while I buy these and please stay out of trouble. Look at those chocolates. George looked around the store. He saw chocolate covered cherries and fudge flavored lollipops. A chocolate bunny caught his eye. Then something else caught his eye. What were all those people looking at? George was curious. He climbed up to get a better look. Through the window, he saw lots of trays filled with little brown dots. What were all those little brown dots? George was curious. He found a door that led to the other side of the window. The little brown dots were chocolates, of course. A tour guide was showing a group of people how to tell what was inside the chocolates by looking at the swirls on top. Let's see. This swirl means fudge. This one says that caramel is inside. This wiggle is for marshmallow. This is the swiggle for truffles. This one is for nougat. If you can see, it's an N on top. This sideways swirl is for orange fluff. And this one is George's favorite, banana cream. Mm -mm -mm. George followed the tour group until they came to a balcony overlooking a room where the chocolates were made. Down below, busy workers picked the candy off the machines and put them in boxes. Uh-oh. He climbed down from the balcony. Oops. And up onto a machine. Do you see this machine? Here it says slow, medium, fast, and extra fast. Do you see that George's foot made it go from fast to extra fast? Oh my, I don't think he knows what happened. George peeked inside. He was trying to see what was making the swirls when all of a sudden the chocolates began coming out faster and faster. They sped by him so quickly they seemed to be running on legs of their own. Quick, bring more boxes, yelled the man with the white, tall white hat. What happened, asked another man. No one answered. No one knew what had happened in Everyone was so busy that nobody noticed George. There he is. The workers began to fall behind, and the candy began to fall off the end of the belt. Save the chocolate, yelled the man with the tall white hat. Meanwhile, George saw his favorite whiz by. He tried to catch the banana cream chocolate, but it was too fast. Can you see it right here? He chased it to the end of the belt. George. Oh, there he is. At the end of the belt, a pile of chocolates was growing taller and taller. 
George had never seen so many chocolates. As you search for the banana cream, he put the others in the empty boxes. George was, was a fast worker. Someone noticed and yelled, Bring that monkey more boxes. He's helping us catch up. Uh-oh, look at this. It has a little glare. Let's see. Not all the chocolates made it into the boxes, but no more chocolates fell on the floor. Can you see why? They're going into George's mouth. <laughs> Just then, George and the workers were all caught up. The tour guy ran in with the man with the yellow hat. Get that monkey out of here, she yelled. He's ruining our chocolates. But this little monkey saved the chocolates, explained the workers. He's actually a hero. Then the man with the tall white hat said to George, You may have caused us some trouble, but you were a speedy little monkey. You deserve a big box of candy for all your help. George was glad he was not in trouble, but he did not take the chocolates. Do you know why George didn't take the chocolates? George, do you remember why you didn't take the chocolates? Can you see where his hand is right now? It's on his belly right here. I think he got a belly ache. Back in the parking lot. The workers waved goodbye as George and his friend got into the little blue car. George, are you sure you don't want any chocolates before we leave? Asked the man with the yellow hat. George was sure. George, do you remember that adventure? Yeah, you're still holding your belly because of it. Girls and boys, if you like Curious George stories, there's so many you can choose from. You can find them at your library. They're on. You can find a few on Epic. You can look in your. Uh, you can download them from the new Dora app. So I hope you have a chance in the future to read a few more adventures of our good friend George. I hope you enjoyed our story today.